Hey Gemini, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. This should resonate Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross watching, welcome. It could be your situation or your partner's. Keep that in mind. Sometimes we have to flip it, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, all right. First thing for your current situation, I have action here. And I feel like, here's the thing, Gemini, and I'm going to clarify with ease. I feel like there's a lot of change that's going on right now. I feel like there's a lot of healing. And I also feel like part of Gemini right now is shedding who they used to be. And it's like they're now taking on this new form. And whatever this form is, I feel like, Gemini, there's something very magical about it. There's something very light about it. And what's happening is, in your current situation romantically, there is some type of action that's being taken. Now, what, what, what action is being taken? Why is this the current situation? Why is this the current situation? Some of you may be dealing with... Whew, a Sagittarius, it's funny, right as I said that, temperance came out. Okay, with the Six of Wands, some of you may be dealing with a Leo or have a, a Jupiter in Leo. Here's what I'm getting. I, I feel like for you, Gemini, one of you guys is ready to go and the other person is taking a little bit longer to kind of go back and forth and figure out if this is what they want. I also feel like, too, somebody here is also feeling like a level of regret. I don't know if it's on your side or your partner's side, but there's definitely some type of regret here from not taking action or not moving fast enough. And I feel like either way, Gemini, with this temperance here, it's like, I feel like this is really about you guys centering yourself spiritually, first of all. I also feel like, too, though, this is, it's like having a level of caution with moving forward, right? It's understanding that if you're dealing with somebody or if it's somebody new, you already know what happened in the past. So it's not making those same mistakes again, especially with this six of wands here. I also feel like there is something that somebody is being recognized for. How does Gemini feel about their current situation romantically? Wheel of Fortune, so you may be dealing with a, again, um, I, I always forget the, the PJ uh, Sag, with a Sag or a Pisces. You feel like things are changing. You feel like things are finally, like, almost like going in the right direction, right? There's some level of completion here, I feel like. And change is happening regardless. And I feel like change is happening because somebody is taking a level of action because they understand that whatever they did in the past, they're regretting. Because Gemini right now is on a whole fucking other level, okay? We're on our globe shit. Take a look. Very unbothered, third eye lit. I, I just feel like right now when it comes to Gemini, that there is something that's constantly changing and it's never stagnant, right? We never stay stagnant for a period of time. We may be cool for, but it hits that threshold where it's like, okay, there's no movement. I'm going to go ahead and go because if there's no movement, I'm cool, right? And I feel like that's coming in very strongly. And I feel like Gemini, it's like you're rolling with the punches. You're trying to remain very centered right now, especially with your situation with this person. And don't stress about it, okay? I feel like change is inevitable here. How does Gemini's person of interest, how do they feel about the current situation? Ooh, the Hierophant. Mm, Taurus energy. The lovers with the Nine of Cups. Look at this. Beautiful. I feel like your person knows it's the right thing to do. I think that especially with this, this energy here, some of you may be dealing with another Gemini or a Pisces or even a, a Capricorn, Mars and Capricorn, your person is very um, eager to make it work. And I feel like they're at a place right now where um, they've taken a level of time, okay? And now it's like, okay, I want Gemini. There's something changing about you, Gemini, that's forcing this person to change too. Because I feel like with this Taurus energy, that Hierophant energy, it's like, they had a very specific way of how they wanted to go about it. And I feel like 
for you, you've done something that's now got the ball rolling. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. Okay. Alrighty then. So what are you manifesting? I have grounding here. And I think for you, Gemini, and I, and I hope that I'm not speaking for us, right? But what's Gemini manifesting here? Okay. Two of Wands, Two of Swords, Empress. Okay. Aries, Mars and Aries, Libra, Taurus, Libra, Moon. I feel like this, Gemini, I don't feel like what you're manifesting right now is, I feel like, a level of clarity. I think that you're manifesting action, but also really processing what you want, right? The Two of Swords, I love that card. I know a lot of people don't, um, but the Two of Swords, that's Moon and Libra. And it's really about going back and forth and making a decision on how you're planning on executing something with love and it pertains to relationships and action. And I think for you right now, it's like you're tired of always putting forth the energy, Gemini, and now it's like you're ready for that partner to do the same. So for you, you're in a place where you're no longer going to suffer. Like this person is either going to do it or they're not. If they're not, peace out, Girl Scout. I got shit to do and my ass loves Girl Scout cookies. So with that being said, do you know what I'm saying? Like Gemini right now is not waiting. Like Gemini is not going to sit here and be fated to suffer. We're, we're, we're not going to suffer in silence. We're either going to go suffer somewhere else or we're going to make it work. It, it's, it, it's, it's coming in very strongly. I also feel like too, with this Empress here, some of you may be wanting to get pregnant, but I also feel like it's really you kind of coming into your own. I feel like it's you taking your power. It's you taking on a very feminine aspect, one that is um, receiving, right? And I feel like too, it's like, there's something here, Gemini, where you're dripping in beauty and it's like, there's something very rich about you. So even if you're struggling financially, I'm just saying like your energy right now is, is very light and bright and vibrant, okay? Which I think is damn fucking fantastic. All right. Manifesting. No longer suffering with the inconsistency, having a level of grounding with the person, wanting the person to get out of their head and make a decision and have a level of forward movement. That's what I'm getting. There's a choice here. Choices need to be made. A decision needs to be made um, when it comes to you and your person. Okay. So a near future event, we have truth here. Why? What's being said here with truth? Seven of wands. Woo! That just hopped off. Hold on. Seven of wands with the king of wands. Leo energy, Leo, Aries, um, Sag, Seven of Wands, that's Mars and Leo. I have a lot of Mars energy. Here's what I feel. I feel like something you're not expecting, Gemini, that's going to be coming up pretty quickly here is the fact that somebody's going to express to you how they feel. Somebody's going to be expressing some type of truth to you. And I feel like this person, whoever you've been dealing with, I don't know if it's the person, I don't know if it's someone associated with the person, but there is something that's going to come up here where it's like that mask is taken off and you see shit for exactly what it is. I also feel like you understand why this person um, pushed back so, so much. And I also feel like there is something here where it's like, let me ask really quick because I want to make sure I'm telling you the right thing. Why? Why are you showing me this for the truth? With justice. So, all right, well, hopefully all you guys can see that. All right. I feel like this person has, this person has stopped themselves from really expressing to you exactly what's going on, exactly what the blocks are, what stopped us, whatever, right? I feel like that's happened, but now it's like they want to explain why they kept you at a distance. They want to explain why things happened the way that they happened. 
And I also feel too, especially with this justice card, there's Libra's ass. You know, Libra shows up in everybody's reading. Libra's like, wait a minute, hold up, hold my beer. Um, but I feel like this person wants to do the right thing. I think that this person wants to be honest. I think that this person wants to tell the truth. There's something here where it's like they feel like they owe it to you. And I feel like decisions right now with your person are being made with a level of integrity. And actions have consequences. So they understand right now, Gemini, that if they do not move forward quickly, the action or the consequence of that action is goodbye. I'm going to go ahead. I'm, I'm going to hit it, hit them with the SpongeBob. I'm going to go ahead and head out. Right? So I feel like your person now feels a level of pressure and I feel like they're trying to work on what they've not expressed. And I really feel like there's something here about having a conversation with them. That's going to heal some type of past wounds. How does Gemini feel about this? Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups. How does Gemini feel about what's said here? How does Gemini feel about what's communicated? Ooh, honey, the King of Pentacles, there's Taurus. How does Gemini's person feel about what's being expressed here? How does Gemini's person feel about what's being expressed here? Queen of the Swords wanting to come out but didn't. Okay, Emperor, Two of Cups. Cancer Venus. Some of you guys have a Cancer Venus. Okay, honestly, I feel like this person understands that in order to move forward with you, they're going to have to be honest and they're going to have to tell, tell you the truth, right? There's something here where if they want to be with you, they're going to have to fight right? They're going to have to fight for it. Mercury and Aquarius, but I do feel like things are being done differently or Venus and Aquarius. Things are being done differently. And I feel like they need to tell you what they've not said and things that they've been hiding or lying or pushing away. Okay. So external influence, um, cause that was near future event, external influence. I feel like there's a lot of gratitude here. I feel like Gemini, like you're coming into your own and you feel good about what you're, what you're building with or without that person. Queen of Cups. Like there's something here, Gemini, where your intuition is on point right now. And I feel like as an external influence, it's you. I don't know how else to explain it. It's kind of dope though. With the high priestess, look. Cancer, Taurus, Pisces, what's being hidden? The magician, you are, hold on. How does their partner feel about this? Woof, honey, look at this. The world, I mean, can we all be honest here? Like that's beautiful, right? Okay. And that's how your partner feels about it, right? Here's the thing, Gemini. You've been manifesting in silence. You've not been talking. You've not been as active on social media lately. And this has given you some time to really process everything, to have a certain understanding, to trust your inner voice, trust what's going on. I also feel like, too, with this external... Um, not the external event, but what happens in the near future where there is something that's expressed here, I feel like you're like, that's right. Finally, secrets are being revealed. That's what I think. And I think that you're acknowledging the truth and you understand what the solution is and you know what's right in front of you. Now, when it comes to your person, it's like, it's funny. It's like you've manifested this from your gifts, right? For your higher purpose. You've done this, Gemini. No one else has done this but you. You've manifested everything that you want for you, what's best for you, and what's right for you, right? Sometimes I always tell people, we don't manifest what we want. We manifest what we need. Now, with your partner feeling like the world here, okay, there is a completion, right? And I feel like there's a level of vindication here. There's a victory it's like whatever was going on, it was hard, hard to get through, I feel like, but you've mastered it. 
Like there's something here where you've either mastered like the art of detachment, you've mastered something here. And I feel like now your partner feels better because they're free of all that, um, that was holding them back, right? From what they really wanted to say to you. Like there's no more like oppression here. Like it's knowing like this person knows who you are and knows what you want. And there is some type of balance here that's going back and forth between you and your partner. With that being said, Gemini, I love you guys. And until next time, peace.